Today, we're going to use these sweet potato skins to make crispy sweet potato skin chips. We're going to also make a really delicious dip to go with it. So, I made sweet potato casserole last week for my family. By the way, they didn't like it, but whatever. You win some, you lose some. But the good thing about that whole experience is I saved my potato skins. I was reading an article on kitchen.com about why you should never throw away your potato skins and that is what sparked this idea. I dehydrated the sweet potatoes overnight in my oven for eight hours at the lowest temperature your oven could go. If you don't feel safe about leaving your oven on overnight, you could do this during the day and make it for dinner. But you want to make sure you get rid of any kind of humidity that comes in the skins because we're frying them and it'll burn if there's any kind of liquid. And I say that from experience. I've done this a few times. Let's hope today we get this right. You wanna make sure you have some sweet potato left in the skin because I don't know about you, but I love the different textures of everything. I wanna be able to taste the crispiness and the softness. Look at that. So we're gonna plate this beautifully and these sweet potatoes skins are a little too big. So I will cut them. You can rip them apart as well. You want to make sure that you use the most basic canola oil you can find. Don't try to get fancy and use anything else. Again, that comes from experience of messing up and learning. I know that frying for all you professional chefs are gonna come down my throat is 350, but um, for this, because of the sugar content, I do 300. So when you're dealing with the deep fryer, you wanna be able to put it down as gently as possible. And then what I do is I just quickly turn it. And this, you kind of have to eyeball it based on the color that you are most comfortable with. That is an amazing color for me. I just want to do one more round to get the skin. And then I stop it right there. Look at that. Oh, that's really pretty. You wanna be able to season it right away because the oils that are still on the sweet potato, they will toast the spices. I do a little seasoned salt and my favorite, zatar. It also comes from my little favorite grocery store nearby called Cookbook. Zatar is a spice that I grew up with Every now and then, when I want to feel like part of my home is still with me, I use my spices. Now I'm going to show you how to make the Katira dip. Uh, that's not what it's called anywhere else, but because I invented it with the help of my friend, I'm going to call it the Katira dip. You could call it whatever you want. So we have one four teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of paprika, which will be two of these, and just a pinch of cayenne for those who, you know, are scared. But this is inspired by my girlfriend, Jackie. It's like her love letter to me. It's got all the flavors of my world one four teaspoon of the coriander. We will do half a teaspoon of the salt. One cup of this amazing yogurt. I love yogurt. When I was growing up in Afghanistan, we made our own yogurt because we had so many cows. And I used to milk the cows growing up. Yes, me. It's hard to believe 
because of how Americanized I am now, but I was that girl. You want to ask me how many times I've done that since I've come to America? Shame on me. All right, so we're gonna put our yogurt in here. We're gonna do some lemon zest. Make sure your lemons are washed before you do this. And make sure you're pretty gentle with it because you could easily get the skin and then it's just gonna be a little too bitter. I zest a whole lemon and this particular lemon is Meyer lemon but it really doesn't matter what you use. I'm also obsessed with garlic. So it's very tempting to use more than one clove in this recipe, but I won't do that to my kids. So we're gonna add our spices. And then just start mixing. And watch the magic happen. It turns into my daughter's favorite color, a nice little light hue of pink because of the paprika has a little bit of spice, a little bit of salt, acid, and fat. And that is a shout out to my girl, Samin. So I'm gonna taste it for salt. Yes, that's delicious. We're going to use these fresh herbs for garnish. Mint, parsley, dill, they're all flavors that I grew up eating and pomegranates grow everywhere in Afghanistan. All right, let's plate this. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. You do it the way your little heart desires. I mean, yo, even if this dish didn't taste good, can you imagine people coming to your house and this is what you serve them? I mean, if this doesn't show that I care about you, come on. And now we're just going to top it with pomegranate. Here you go, the perfect way to use your potato skin scraps. You just take them, fry them, add a little dip to them, serve it to your guests and watch them go, ooh, wow, mmm, for me? Yeah, for you. Enjoy.